Hey guys, how's it going? So basically, this video is going to be October's favourite video. Now, I know what you're going to say, wow, why is he doing this video? I want to see his channel, I want to see his head himself, I want to see some food, I want to see this, I want to see Well, stop being demanding, okay? This relationship isn't going to work if, we, if, we, if you're demanding all the time. So now that's, that's settled. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be talking to you about what my favourite food is this week. If you guys think it's boring, then just hit subscribe and get out of here. You're awful. You're an awful person. Now I'm working. So I'm going to talk about clothes, I'm going to talk about websites, I'm going to talk about songs. So yeah, with, uh, without further ado, do, let's uh, crack on. First one, first thing, I'm the realist. No, I'm not kidding. Before I get started, any of the things I've purchased uh, are actually just stuff that I've bought. No, I, know, I know I always say, oh, you don't need stuff, you don't need to buy yourself stuff all the time. But sometimes your wardrobe does need a refresher, and sometimes things get washed out and they don't look as good as they once did, so you need to top up practically. My first item uh, this uh, this October was this jumper. Now this is just a typical jumper. It's getting cold, it's getting breezy, it's getting nippy. You need something to keep you warm. Now this 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 particular jumper is actually from Primark. Now Primark, this was like 16 quid. Like, you cannot go wrong with that. Top under like 30 quid. I know. I like the fit on it more so than anything. Any any of the items I bought, I actually like the fit of because. They fit well, they relax, I feel comfortable, that's what you should look for, don't look for the style, even though this is pretty trendy, I don't know if I can pull it off, I really like it. Um, so yeah, the fit's good, if it fits good, it looks good. Yeah, so this is probably like one of my favourite jumpers, I mean, I wear it all the time because it fits good. Oh, if it fits good, it looks good. Boom, have a look. So yeah. Next item on the list, you've seen again in the lookbook because it genuinely is one of my favourites. Plain, simple, basic tee. You know, the arms fit nicely with the arm, that's on my arm, that's on my shoulder, that's linked to my body. Um, it's, 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 it's normal, like, you know what I mean? It's not too much, it's the thing that they throw on. So, like, when I'm getting late to uni, because I'm always late to uni, not a good thing. Um, everybody knows that I literally arrive to class at five minutes late. So bad, because the amount of teaching. I pay a lot of money for uni, I don't know why I'm, I, I'm stupid. Right, the next item is an item I shouldn't have purchased and I feel terrible because I have said to you guys before, I have 32 pairs of these. I do not need any more. But, in my defence, one of my favourite pairs lost colour so I need to get them. They were jeans, H&M jeans, check it out, I'm actually wearing them right now. Okay, see? Yeah? The reason, now, the reason why I got these were basically, my legs are like a silly size and no jeans fit them properly. So. I got it and I said, you know what, if it's good, it probably looks good. Might as well get two. Um, this colour too. But, in my defence... No, I don't have a defence in that one. I'm just, I, I'm sorry. I'm an awful person. Okay, so the next item is probably the last item of clothing, which you guys will be happy to know. But, I didn't purchase these. These were actually gifted to me. I did ask gazelles. Now I've seen loads of people wear these. I actually thought they were really cool. I never purchased them because probably of the price, they're like 55 quid. Expensive for training. I don't spend more than like 40 quid unless they get gifted to me. Do you know what I mean? Um, again, I've not worn these since that like, high school. I did ask brand. I just I converted to like Converse, Vans, Pumps. Um, so yeah, these are these are really good. But that's it. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, YouTubers. So the two YouTubers that I actually really really adore. This. Uh, this October were Foo the Tube, you probably heard of him, and Brian Higgert again, you probably heard of him, they're just so popular. I follow Foo the Tube, but I follow his um, Dose of Fusey, uh, DOF, because he opens up and he's vlogging, that's a daily vlogging channel by the way if you don't know, he opens up like so, so much to his uh, to his viewers and I just think that it's, it's amazing how he does that because I find it difficult when I'm speaking to you guys to tell you about stuff because it's sort of like, where do, where do you draw the line like of what's you know, too personal and what's not and he literally talks about everything and hat off to him because he's literally going through a struggle and he is um, he did something motivational the other day where he kind of said you know I'm not going to let this struggle be, be, like, be a negative impact on my life and I'm going to you know head forward and crack on and you know what shout out to you man like literally you're such an inspiration keep it up now and the other person is Ryan Higger like if you've not heard of Ryan Higger like you need to just type his name in and look watch all of his videos I've been watching Ryan since 2008, now that's a long time ago, he started YouTubing in 2005 and he's got like 14 million subscribers, but he's actually a genius, he's not just a guy who sits in front of the camera and just talks, he literally has, he's, he could be like a filmmaker, like he, he literally scripts his stuff and each little thing has a link and then at the end there's like a 
funny catch and it's just he's, he's brilliant like I'm, I'm fangirling right now because he's so cool um but yeah like go check him out i'm gonna leave the link in the description please go check him out he's, he's literally he's a genius he's, he's the definition of a genius in the youtubing world i guess if that makes sense now facebook 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 <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me for this but yeah 99 percent halal if you don't follow it already on facebook please head over there and check it out it's the to show that i'm in you probably have seen it in the last week's video but please do check it out. If you want further information, watch my last week's video. Um, I did an announcement in that. Um, and yeah, just check that out. For a website, I might as well just say reference me. Because the amount of university work I'm doing that, and the amount of work I've had to reference is like, unbelievable. But yeah, so reference me. Now, all joking aside, uh, it's actually my favourite website for this month is Western Allies, which is my brother's website, Dante's uh, website. So head over and check it out. It's westernallies.co.uk. Uh, he sells merchandise on there, help him out, help us out, spread the word, spread the love, he'll appreciate it. If you like anything, do purchase it, um, he's got some cool tees and bucket hats and it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good um, online shop, so just do check it out. Now, the fun part, <laughs> right, two songs and two artists that I've not actually been a fan of, uh, but the new songs have actually pulled, pulled me in and made me one a believer and two a drizzy, drizzy fan. Now, Hotline Bling, let's start with Drake. Hotline Bling was probably one of the best songs that I released um, in that period of time because it literally, such a good card, such a good lyrics, deep meaning. I'm not a fan of Drake, as I've mentioned, but he literally pulled me in. But then he released his video, which, um, yeah, people thought it'd be something else. And I know when that Hotline Bling, that can only mean one thing. But it was something else. Since I left the city, you. But you guys are giving him bad hate. Don't give him hate. He's just doing what he loves. Let him crack on. And number two, Bieber. <laughs> Bieber. That, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. But he's three songs. Like, what do you mean? Where are you now? I'm sorry. I've not heard. Um, I'll show you. I probably should have done that before the video. But um, yeah, that's how unprepared I am. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's doing really well. Like, well done. Um, I'm actually liking his songs. Um, what do you mean? Like, I just like sometimes get carried away and just start singing it. First, you wanna go to the left, then you wanna turn right. Wanna argue all day. You're doing good. Well done. Okay, guys, so that's uh, that's it. That's the my October favorites done. Yeah. Now, look, thank you for watching the video. If you, if you like it, please do subscribe. I don't just make October favorites. Um, I didn't actually have a video planned for this week uh, because tomorrow I'm going to start my daily blogging. Yes, I said daily. I am going to try to do daily blogs. Uh, for 99% halal, all my journey through from when rehearsal starts all the way through to um, to the day we finish uh, on stage. So please do follow them as well. I know that uh, it's a lot to ask of you guys to follow each video and watch and like them and share and subscribe. So I'm not going to say you've got to watch all of them. Just watch as many as you can, spread the word, and I would dearly, dearly, dearly appreciate it. So thank you guys for all the support, and I shall see you guys in a bit. Good. Joke, okay, I'm gonna get annoyed. But yeah, follow all the website, everything's in the link, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. I'll see you tomorrow with another video, so see you later!